New science and technology are changing the way weather is predicted. Computer models can indicate the probability of all types of weather. No longer is it just science fiction to predict where dangerous weather may form hours from now. FACETS, short for Forecasting a Continuum of Environmental Threats, is designed to capitalize on this new technology and make the most of it. Weather Service Norman, this is John. I can help you. When the Weather Service issues a tornado warning now, it's for a very large area, and everybody in that area gets the same message. What we are doing with FACETS is honing in on the area where the threat is greatest, and individuals will get their own bit of information every half mile, updated every two minutes, so that it becomes a personal forecast telling you exactly what your risk is at that location. The FACETS information process actually begins days in advance. Long-range outlooks issued by NOAA's National Forecast Centers highlight areas where high-impact weather is possible. As days go by, the outlook locations are fine-tuned to target the location and timing of potential threats. As a high-impact weather event begins, the details of where the impacts will most likely be are displayed with greater and greater precision, giving users a better idea of what safety actions, if any, they need to take. So imagine you're sitting at this dot and you now see that there is no tornado warning in effect, but your relative threat of tornadoes is starting to increase. It's still increasing as the storm approaches. It's increasing some more. Now the tornado warning is issued. And so for people who have low risk tolerance, like hospitals or schools where they need advance notice, if we can give information indicating that there's a lower risk but it's increasing before the standard warning would be issued, they can take action ahead of time and have a longer lead time to protect the people that they're serving. We don't want our families out trying to get to schools in a complete gridlock with traffic and storms coming through. Talk about a dangerous, dangerous situation. And so if parents have the ability to check out their kids and do it in a timely manner, that would be most helpful. Another example shows where you are outside the tornado path, but you're in a tornado warning, but the path of the tornado is actually to the north of that location. So even though they were in a warning, with the facets approach, they didn't get overwarned for an event that did not hit them. It'll keep us from moving the critically ill patients when we don't need to. We'll have that direct information where the storm's going, when it's gonna be there, and we can keep our patients right where they need to be. While FACETS offers many benefits, it also poses some challenges. First, the forecaster must be equipped to use the new technology. FACETS brings with it the ability to speak in terms of probabilities. And forecasters know that there's a probability of many different hazards occurring with a thunderstorm. This will offer them a means to communicate that threat sooner and more efficiently. The forecaster can now convey a little bit of a risk is increasing and increasing and increasing, and that takes the pressure off the forecaster, but it also conveys more information to the end user, even before the warning is issued. Another big challenge is understanding how people's behavior will change based on this new information. We need social behavioral scientists to help us understand how the information could be useful, how it could be transmitted, assure that access and comprehensibility are there and bring that knowledge to the people who are creating the technology so that together, through time, we can make a tool that really serves the public and bolsters our collective resilience. The FACETS project represents a fundamental change in the way watches and warnings are done for the country. And as such, it's going to take quite a bit of research and exploration and experimentation to do it right. As long as we can assure the information is receivable, is understandable, I really do think that the greatest potential beneficiary of this information is the public and the many businesses, hospitals and schools that have very particular needs from weather information. This will be terrifically empowering. To learn more about this research project, visit nssl.noaa.gov.